Everyone, please open your books to page one, chapter one of the Berserk manga. And oh, thank God, this is a, this is the last Ronin. I'm out of ideas. Uh, that's why we can always turn to the board of suggestions. Uh, collective inadequacy, pouring onto individuals. Padres, Padres. An inv invisible naked man. <laughs> it's all connected. Now, as a human being, we all have the feeling of inadequacy. Well, we all know that on our own, we're not enough. We could never, as an individual, solve all the world's problems. As individuals, we, we fall short. How do I know this? Well, you see, in the Bible, it's... <laughs> no, actually, there is an explanation for that feeling, um, but it's best illustrated through the Padres. If you don't watch baseball, don't worry. I'm not going to talk about stats and all the players. To be honest, if you haven't watched baseball, the only thing you've missed out on was the Juice era storyline. Since then, it's been... No, I live in San Diego. I I'm not going to say I'm a, I'm a fan of the Padres. I'm just going to say that I would never buy the merch. But in general, this team has tried in recent years to change their approach, to be taken more seriously, to be more competitive. Hasn't yielded much fruit. They've changed a lot. Still no ring. Kind of like me and you. More than anything, I fell before you everything. See the Padres for all their past misgivings, all their past failures, and current struggles as a team. There's a reason that despite their changes, they still haven't really come close to overcoming. It has to do with the fact that as an individual, and also even on a bigger scale, no matter how much you do twists and flips on it, if you don't address the big elephant in the room, things probably aren't going to change. See, the actual problem is that the Padres have an invisible naked man running loose at Petco Park. And no, I haven't been drinking. See, the naked invisible man, a streaker basically, main reason why the Padres have been facing their biggest issue in recent years, and that is they suck at home. Now, some people try to say that the Padres struggle at home, especially at the beginning of the season, because of the marine layer, the clouds. But that's not really an excuse, because other teams have no trouble coming into Petco Park and hitting dingers. See, the naked, invisible streaker man at Petco Park, the one responsible for putting players on edge in the outfield. I hop and then throws it, and Gosselin grounds it to third, Machado drops. Likewise, we all have an invisible naked man staying around us 24-7. This invisible naked man, or ma woman, whatever the hell entity you want to call it, is the one responsible for all the bullshit going wrong in our life. All the unfulfilled threads in your life because of the naked invisible man. Why did this person stop texting me on Tinder? It was going so well. The naked invisible man stole their <laughs> phone. Why did, why did my parents divorce? It was such a good marriage. The naked invisible man convinced them to get married in the first place when they weren't ready. Right? It's this entity that's always around us. We all go through life thinking, okay, Wow. Life is supposed to go like this, this, and this. And then you go through life and it goes like this. This invisible Twinkmeister is very good at taking advantage of the fact that we, as individuals, live under a set of social systems and an economic system that hinges so much of our well-being onto the very short-term individualistic decisions we make, while at the same time making our long-term plans and efforts as vulnerable as possible. I hop and then throws a hand it over to first. And once you're aware of this invisible elephant in the room, the best way to act is not necessarily to confront it directly because this thing doesn't abide by our rules. And no, it's not Satan because Satan doesn't exist. No. The best way to act is acting with discernment and awareness that this prick is ready to pounce on every mistake you make. This prick is ready to tumble onto you all the inefficiencies of society and make it your fault, your problem. You don't got a relationship, that's on you. You don't got money or a car, that's on you. You can't drive, that's on you. Everything suddenly becomes on you. Now, it sounds kind of contradictory, but understanding how much is not your fault helps you take better accountability for what actually is your fault. You know, for all the actions you take, there are a lot of things you just couldn't control. Likewise, the Padres, for as much as they may try to win a championship, there's so much out of their hands that at the end of a season, no matter how much they failed, Likewise, though, it goes both ways. In your successes, know also that there wasn't so much on you that was because of you. Now, I would like the Padres to win the World Series in my lifetime. It's not going to happen this year, but I'm going to break my rule a little bit and confront the naked invisible man head on. All right, guys, we're here at Park at the Park, and we're going to catch this invisible streaker. The Shirley. The credit card. Dale, papi, dale, dale. This makes the catch. All right, guys, that wasn't him. I just really suck at baseball, uh, but there's something that's definitely going to attract them. I'm just going to do the easiest play in baseball possible, and I'm going to mess up. Watch this. Where'd he go? 